Good morning and welcome back. As you can see, it's another beautiful day outside. Nothing but blue sky and bright sunshine. I've got a small project I'm going to be working on today. So a few weeks back, I bought portable solar panels that plug into the outside solar port. They came with this little inexpensive solar regulator. The panels are from Xantrex. This isn't even a Xantrex regulator, but it's a PWM regulator and I want a MPPT regulator. So I picked up a Victron Smart Solar MPPT 15 amp controller. Like many things I do, a project ends up escalating into something bigger than I initially thought. So I knew that this regulator would only accept 10 gauge wiring as far as its terminals go. So I took the solar port out of the camper. I knew that it had larger than 10 gauge wiring. I wasn't too terribly concerned about that, but I thought that I could just adapt these wires into the, the new regulator. But as you can see, these are really small. These only appear to be about 14 gauge. I don't even know what brand this is. It doesn't have a name on it, but it's used as part of a Z-Amp solar system. So Z-Amp has their wiring situated or set up so that the positive cable is the mail pin on all of their little ports. You can't find anything that matches that on Amazon or any other online vendor like eBay or whatnot. At least I haven't been able to find anything. So I did look at Zamp's website last night and saw that they have a solar port just like this that has 10 gauge. So I went to a small RV shop today and lo and behold they actually had exactly what I needed. Here it is. If you look real close you might be able to see the Zamp name over there on the side. It's set up identical but it, and it also has t the red going to the mail pin and this is 10 gauge wire. So that is about a 12 inch pigtail. That actually might even be long enough to reach exactly where I want to mount my solar regulator inside the truck camper so I could just run those wires directly into the input terminals on that. So the port is screwed into the underside of the truck camper here. I put some tape over this last night to keep the bugs out. Just go ahead and snip these wires and then uh, put some butyl tape around my new port and then install it. I'll probably use some stainless steel screws as well. Step one is to fish the old wire out. I have no idea why there's so much wire. That is about four feet and it's about two feet longer than is necessary. The plan is to mount the regulator somewhere under the kitchen sink kitchen countertop area. So this is a little spice rack that I've pulled out and these are two drawers. I just pull those out to get easier access to everything back here. So I may use some double-sided foam sticky tape and attach it to the top of the transfer switch. That might be the best option because then I don't have to lengthen the wires that came on that little two-pin pigtail. So the hole where that pigtail mounts is buried back here behind the transfer switch. It is right, right there. The new port's ready to be installed. I've got some screws started. I've got some butyl tape on the back. I also put a little small dollop of butyl tape in each screw hole. And I'm using stainless steel screws. These are left over from a previous project. Number eight by three quarter inch Robertson head or square drive screws. Here's what I ended up with. I actually screwed it down to the top of the transfer switch. This is the lid of the transfer switch. As you can see there, these wires are the ones that go to the battery. These are the ones that go to the outside solar port. 
my negative cable comes out of the solar controller and I don't actually have it connected to the shunt because there's a bunch of other cables on the shunt. Instead, I connected it over to this little negative terminal post, which in turn is connected to the shunt. And there's also another batch of negative cables connected to that uh, terminal post. And then my positive wire goes up through a hole into the battery box and then connects to a large fuse inside of the battery box. My reasoning for doing this project is twofold. The first reason being I wanted to have an MPPT controller instead of a PWM controller. And then the second was so that I could have the regulator built into the truck camper. That way when I set up the solar panels I don't have to fumble with connecting that old PWM regulator to the solar panels and then run another wire from the regulator to the exterior solar port on the truck camper. Setting up that whole mess with separate controller and wiring and everything it was just kind of cumbersome